Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I got a shovel and a bead tray and part of an alcohol bottle I cut down, which is working lately for me as a great shovel rest. I also have Anita's white metallic. And even though I wasn't going to use the bead tray and put everything into my shovel, I'm, I'm determined to go ahead and take advantage of the bead tray because it's here and it just seems like a good idea. I am going to not make the colors I put on top of that metallic too complicated, I don't think. We'll see. But I want to use a lot of black because I have a gold primed, a triple gold primed canvas. And I figure if I have some colors in my dish, then I can scoop them up. I never use silver and I've got some silver. This is a color art. Why, why do I keep having that brain cramp? <laughs> it's orchid, like orchid, hot orchid, hot orchid. Okay, I'll remember now. So these are gorgeous colors and I'm not trying to make any specific patterns. This is a uh, golden hour from Arteza, which I'm looking forward to seeing how that works. This is the Deco Art 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana. And I primed the canvas with some other kind of Deco Art gold the first two times and I finished with that. This is almost out. And I have some of my color that I refer to as Velveeta. And those are good colors. And I've got other colors handy. I've got my cobalt with, with golden iridescent pearl fine in it. And yes, that looks great in there. And I've also got some Hobby Lobby brand Master's Touch turquoise with the same golden iridescent pearl fine. I think I have enough black enamel. It's, it's a folk art gloss enamel. And um, I am going to put these things to the side while I go get the canvas that should have been already leaning there. So I've got no paint on the bottom of that this time. And I wonder what I can do. Why don't I grab a little spoon why don't I grab another shovel? All right, so I'm gonna grab another shovel. Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link underneath the link tree. And I'm gonna just go for it. Although I really like the look that orange is giving me. And the, the hot orchid, too. So, as it turns out, I'll just do what I want again. So I'm going to just... See what happens. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to take the black and my shovel. And a shovelful this time and do some more experimenting. I can also dribble this, which is a great possibility right now. If I rest that shovel, it will often let paint go right down over the side. I'm liking those combinations with my gold background, and it was kind of a pain in the butt took a couple days. When I do black, it doesn't take that long. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of black in the bottom of my shovel this time. This is a good experiment for me. Grab some more colors. Put some more black across it. I might want some white too. Just seems like a good idea. This line has got to go. I might just fill it right up. I think I'm going to take a skewer, not that one, one with a straight part, maybe a different end of that, and take the paint that's in a puddle right there and just help nudge it down over the side. I like the, the yellow and the golds in here every bit as much as I thought I would. So 
So I'm going to put a little more in there and start with, I might finish by dribbling. Oh, I did dribble. I might dribble right now. I'm going to look at my pan of colors. Looks like a bird bird beak. Actually, it looks like a bird. <laughs> That's cool. I think because I've got that big puddle there that I'm going to go ahead and give a bit of a tip. I don't usually and I don't usually need to, but right at this moment I'm liking my colors. I think I'm going to do a little bit of manipulation right here. Take some of that orchid. can't believe I had a brain cramp about that. Okay, those are some different shapes. I'm going to grab whatever I can. I kind of want some more red, but I think the, the orchid is calling me. time to use the flow paint it's coming out of my shovel. I love how those marks look like a bird tail not that the rest does anymore. I'm going to take, while I have a chance to have some beautiful colors in here, I'm going to take what I can see that's still nice looking and just use my spatula to remove it because I think if I don't it's going to become kind of mucky if I try and scrape it up with my shovel right now. And it's a new kind of mark and it's okay with me. Let's hope it works. <laughs> Just use the residuals right over the edge. Not sure yet at all. I think I've got another shovel full of color coming my way. And I'm just going to put the colors in that I want. That's a beautiful shovel. And I haven't used much of my blue. And I think I want a little bit more of a metallic. It's different. <laughs> it's not my favorite yet. That can change. I probably just need to do whatever I need to do. I think I really like this Golden Hour by Arteza. I haven't used any green, and I have some, and I kind of think it would be neat to use it, and I think I'm going to use it right now. That adds something that I like. I've got some purple flash from Folk Art. And I don't hate that either. That orchid is calling me in a big way. I'm kind of thinking there's some dots in my future, but I'm not certain of it. I don't usually do things with that amount of black, but they're I'm not sure there's enough, really. I'm going to have to be making up some more orchid pretty quick here. 
I'm going to use some of that cobalt blue. There's just no doubt about it. I'm a lot nervous about this. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's so different. I think the black is going to have to come into this for sure. Because I like doing dribble paintings using my bottles. Any more black? Maybe a little more black. Maybe some white too. It's still different. <laughs> I'm not feeling that. That white is drawing my eyes too much. I like that. that that's making me feel better. That was a rather large dribble. I kind of think white dots would be kind of neat. If I can get away with them. And that's not bad. I'm going to run out of time, aren't I? No, I got some time left. Cool. Oh, the orange is going to help me out. I'm just going to keep going until I figure it out. That's all there is to it. The orange is helping a lot. Better and better. I like weaving things under and over. Oh, that turquoise really did something good. I like that. Yep, I'm getting happy. <laughs> Yay. I was a little worried for a minute. I don't know why I should be. I can't put gold in there, so I've got to decide if there's something else. And I'm thinking more turquoise is a good idea. I'm liking how the eye moves around in there quite a bit. I'm going to try a little bit of that golden hour pearl. If you can find my Arteza playlist, you can get an Arteza coupon. Because when they change up, yeah, I like that. When they change up, I, when there's a new coupon that's relevant and recent, I'm going to add it to all of the Arteza playlist. I wonder how that's going to show up. I really don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on there. I think I'm back to black again. That's a good album. I used to like it quite a bit. I'm going to take a skewer and move that in there rather than take a chance on trying to add a scoop or something. I 
think that worked pretty well, actually. I kind of like the idea of adding some shapes. I don't know if I've ever added squeeze bottle shapes just like this. But there's a first time for everything. Paint has to be heavy enough so you don't so you don't go down to canvas when you're making it move around. Yeah, I blended it in. So I should tell you guys, there's almost 90, 91,000 of you subscribed, and if you're new, please be welcomed. If you're not, you know I love you. <laughs> and uh, that was better. I don't mind that. That's good. I think I want a little bit of black on the, ad, on the edge. Sort of saving my black enamel for where I want cells. What else? What else? I don't know what else. I'm thinking only the white or the silver. Where's the silver? That's great. What a good idea. Okay, so I've got a couple minutes to tell you guys thank you very much for all the donations that helped keep me painting all this time. And should you be somebody who's unaware of the fact that I have a monthly drawing for art, and you can see the prizes for any monthly drawing on the end screen video that's an exhibition video that particular month, I think that little messy thing is going to get a spiral. I'm kind of liking this, and I think it's going to grow on me, especially when it dries. I have Teespring clothing below the video. Oh, the silver's perfect. I love it. Why don't I use more silver? I don't know. And uh, there's all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts there. And all kinds of more stuff, also. I'm going to use the pointy end without the painty schmutz on it. I'm going to let that little mark just meld right in. Use a little more silver. Maybe not a lot. What I want, I think I want some red. Do I have any left in my bottle? Probably not. Do I have any left? It's a question. I'm not getting a good answer to. So I love you guys. I told you that. My Amazon link is a great place to shop at no added cost to you. And it helps me out when you shop there from my, from my links below the link tree underneath the video. And you can find the Amazon link, my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. Is for students. I just had a really fast, fast dripping bottle. And I better be careful of that because I got a lot of paint coming out of there. That's obviously the wrong bottle to use, but it did work. If I'm really fast. All right, I got one minute left to figure out what I didn't tell you. Whoops. Anyway, so fans, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fancy Collectors is where you can find the albums that you can see. What I've edited so far from the YouTube tutorials. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more is a good place to go shopping from. It'll take you to pixels.com and find it in America where there's over 1,400 items, probably closer to 15 now. I like that blue in there. I still want some purple. And then I'll be done. This is maybe the most dots I've indulged myself in for a while. And that's the purple flash from Folk Art, and I like that. So I love you guys. <laughs> I told you that before. I'm so distracted by doing my painting. I'm not, I'm not doing the self-promotion I'm supposed to be doing. What else? My community board has tomorrow's video. There's over 1,600 videos on my playlists. I love you guys. <laughs> uh, ask me questions. Look for my pouring medium under the, my pouring recipe under the video. And um, I think that's it for now. You'll see what you, whatever you need to see. Share my videos if you if you would help me out with a thumbs up. That would be great. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Saying I love you. I like the fourth time. Bye for now. Priscilla out.